a lot of people quit fishing when it starts to get hot truth is if you're able to get out there you can have your limit or enough to eat before 10 a.m rolls around so stick around and i'm gonna tell you exactly how to to achieve this summer crappie are super aggressive if you can find them when they're feeding it's like fishing in a barrel but finding them is the key to all this and that's going to make or break your success on the water now one of the biggest key things i focus in on this time of year that's not talked about a lot is oxygen figuring out where your thermocline is can really speed things up when you first get out there the simplest way i find to do this is to find one of the deepest areas on your lake and take your 2d sonar your uh, down imaging whatever you got on your boat no matter what brand and you want to find a line in the deeper water this way you have a going point that the fish will not be deeper than the thermocline <clears throat> now once you've got an idea of what depth you're looking for I try to find areas that have deep water access in a shady place. This is normally a row of docks on a creek channel or a big marina that they can get under when the sun gets up. Now a lot of times you do have to fish around these areas because unless you are able to side scan or use your forward facing sonar to look up under this stuff, you're going to need to fish it slow and see if the fish are actually there because they will get all the way up under the docks and only come out to feed when they see your jig coming through. Now I know that's not possible for everybody out there, but another key thing is getting up early in the morning and getting out there as soon as that sun starts coming up. The best time, the best time to go after a limit of crappy is right when daybreak breaks. They will be out and about and feeding before that sun pushes them back under the bridges and the brush piles and the docks. The brush you want to focus on this time of year is whatever that thermocline you found earlier is minus, I don't know, about five foot. If you have a 20 foot thermocline, then there's no oxygen for anything to survive under 20 foot. I would scan around in 15 foot till I locate brush piles with fish stacked on top of the brush pile as the ones inside the brush normally don't want to bite this time of year. Moving from brush pile to brush pile is probably the best strategy for really early in the morning this time of year. That way you can get as many fish in the boat as possible. And what I mean by that is when you first pull up to a brush, you're going to catch the fish that are most active in your first 20 or so casts. And then the brush is going to seem like it just dies off in most cases. And what happens is you caught the fish that are willing to bite. Now, when you start not getting bites as you were getting when you first pulled up to that brush, you just want to pull your trolling motor up, start scanning around till you find another brush that has the top of the brush has fish. And then you're going to pull up, you're going to catch some ones that are active, and you just rinse and repeat until you get your limit. Now, if you're like me, I just love fishing. I love being out on the water. So I hate getting off the water early. So when that sun gets up, I start hitting the bridges. Bridges can hold fish all year long, no matter the conditions, you know, muddy water, stained water, clear water, hot water, cold water, medium water. It doesn't matter if you've got a good bridge, it's probably got some fish on it bridges offer shade and unlike fishing open water brush or docks they help you stay cool you want to work the pillar slow find what depth they're holding and make them chase it a bit you know give it a little granny crawl like we've talked about on so many videos and you'll have plenty of fish tacos in no time <clears throat> fishing the right profile can also be a big factor on your day on the water also there's a lot of shad this time of year, and they're very, very small. Uh, they're small because of the shad spawn that happens every spring. All the new hatchlings are starting to group up with the bigger shad. So 
you essentially have little tiny fry that way a bait like the little minnow from crappy man jigs is going to be the perfect profile now if you do have a lot of bait wherever you're fishing being different is the key to get a bite and i mean y'all know before i've said it a million times crappy man green is going to be different than any other than daggum shad in that ball and the crappy will key in on the different thing and you're going to get that little thump and thump now you pair that uh, crappy man green little minnow up with a 164 ounce jig head and it gives it that perfect slow fall rate stay in that strike zone as long as possible and even on a 100 degree day you're going to get that big old thump so the take from all of this is to get out there early and locate a school that's feeding and if you're not getting a thump every 10 to 15 minutes pull your trolling motor up and keep moving it can take a lot of time out on the water this time of year can be very stressful it's hot you got to stay hydrated but keep moving fish a brush pile catch what you can off of it crank the big motor up go cool off going down the lake a little bit find another brush pile rinse and repeat this process guys and i can guarantee you you're going to come home with enough fish to eat even limit out before 10 o'clock in the morning if you can get on the right pattern i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's, it's a little bit different than my normal videos y'all do know i'm without a way to get to the lake right now so i'm trying to teach you from home until i can get that situated but i appreciate you watching help the channel out become a member down below it's only two dollars for the the lowest package and i would greatly appreciate it